So we're going to talk about compound events. So compound events are probability events that have two different stages. So there's two types of compound events. There's independent events and dependent events. So independent events are when the two stages are not related. So that would be like flipping a coin and rolling a die. The outcome of the first event, flipping a coin, has no effect on what the probability of rolling a die will be. Dependent events are when the two things are intertwined. So that would be like passing a test and studying. Studying will affect the probability of passing a test. So the two formulas for an independent and dependent events are here. So to find the probability of an event A and an event B occurring if they're independent, you multiply the probability of event A times the probability of event B. So it's pretty straightforward. With dependent events, it gets a bit more complicated, but not too much. So you see here the symbol P of B and then a line in A. So what that means is the probability of B given that A has already occurred. So this is still going to just be one probability. The line is just a symbol that represents given that. So to find the probability of A and B happening if the two events are dependent, you multiply the probability that B occurs given that A has already occurred times the probability of A. Now using algebra we can rearrange this formula to solve for different things. So if you're looking for the probability that B occurs given that A has already occurred, you use this formula where you divide the probability of A over the probability of A and B occurring. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of examples to help this make more sense. So the first one, you have a 20% chance of failing a test and a 30% chance of being dumped by your girlfriend. Are these two events dependent or independent? Well, does failing the test affect being dumped? No. So these two events are independent. So to find the probability of failing your test and being dumped, we just do the probability of failing times the probability of being dumped, which is 0.2 times 0.3, which equals 0.6. Okay, now we'll do another question. If you have an 80% chance of passing your test if you study, but only a 20% chance of studying for the test, what's the probability that you'll pass? So we set it up. The probability of passing, given that you study, is equal to 80%. The probability that you study is 20%. So we set it up in this equation. So the probability of passing and studying is equal to the probability of passing, given that you study, times the probability that you study. So it boils down to 0.8 times 0.2, which equals 0.16. So you got a 16% chance of passing your test. So when you're doing these questions, what you have to do is read through First decide whether it's dependent or independent. Once you figure that out, you know what formula you're going to use, and then you just plug it in and solve.